Hello children. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to do factorization of algebraic expressions using identity. So first, let's revise what is identity 1. As we have seen in the chapter of algebraic expression, if a plus b whole square is given, that is bracket a plus b bracket square is given, it can be represented as a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? Left hand side is equal to right hand side, right? This is what we have learned in algebraic expression lesson. So how is it useful for factorization? Suppose we are given an algebraic expression of this form a square plus 2ab plus b square. We can write it as a plus b whole square, right? So left hand side is equal to right hand side or we can write this and this is also equal to this. So how we are going to use this identity one in factorization is try to given an algebraic expression we are going to see if it maps to this we can actually reduce it from plus form that is a square plus 2ab plus b square like three terms we can write it as product of two terms which are a plus b whole square or we can say a plus b into a plus b. So these are factors right. So let's take an example. Suppose we are given p square plus 8p plus 16. So let's see we have to come up with the product of its factors. So is it mapping to identity 1? How do we find it out? It's pretty simple. Try to see if you are seeing squares on the extremes. I'm seeing p square means p into p here and 16 is also a, a square it's it's a square number in, we know 4 square is 16 so if you are seeing squares here it means the identity rules 1 2 or 3 might be applicable let's try to find out so p square plus 8p plus 16 we can write it as p square plus 8 into p plus 4 square right 16 can be written as 4 square and if we take identity 1 as the rule, we can think, oh, this is nothing but a square, that is a is equal to p. So this is a square and this is b square. What is identity 1? a square plus 2ab plus b square. So we need a and we need b. So a here seems to be p, b here seems to be 4 because they are squares. Now let's see whether 2ab is also there or not. So what we have done till now, p square plus 8p plus 16, we have written as p square plus 8 into p plus 4 square. Break this term also further in its common factor. We write p square plus 2 into 4 into p. So is it coming closer to identity 1? We need a square plus 2ab plus b square. So if b is 4, then we we can rewrite this 2 into 4 into p as 2 into p into 4, right? Just swap the orders because we can use the commutative law to just swap the order of 4 and p here. So it's still, still the same thing. Now it looks like identity 1 a square plus 2ab plus b square where a is p and b is 4. a square that is p square plus 2ab 2 into a p is same as a here 4 is same as b here 2ab plus b square that that is 4 square so we can now use identity 1 and we can write it as a plus b whole square right so that is a plus b whole square which is nothing plus but a plus b into a plus b. So you can write this as the answer or you can write a p plus 4 into p plus 4 as the answer. So now it's a product of its factors. So this is what the goal of factorization was. Isn't it easy? Let's take another example. Let's take 25 m square plus 30 m plus 9. As you can see here 9 is a also a square 3 square 25 is also a square 5 square so how do we solve it we write first it 
the extremes as its product 5 into 5 into m into m which is 25 5 into 5 and m square is m into m 30 m we we can still break it into factor here or in a subsequent step step also and 9 we have written as 3 into 3 so this can be written as 5 square m into m is m square and 3 into 3 as 3 square right and as we know from the rules of exponent 5 square into m square we can write it as 5m whole square that is write the bracket and inside the bracket we write 5m so 5 square into m square has become 5m whole square or 25m square has become 5m whole square right plus 30m plus 3 square right so now it is looking like a square plus b square that is 5m is nothing but a and 3 is nothing but b in this case right and let's see whether 2ab is coming here or not so we have come till this step now derive the common factor of 30m which is nothing but 2 into 3 into 5 into m right and if we just use the commutative law to reorder them then it becomes very apparent that if 5m is a and 3 is b then a square plus 2a entire 5m is a b that is 3 2 into a into b plus b square so that is what is identity 1 and we can write this thing as a plus b whole square that is 5m bracket 5m plus 3 bracket to the power 2 or in other words 5m plus 3 into 5m plus 3 so it's a product of two factors both are same 5m plus 3 and that is our answer so we can use identity 1 if we can somehow find that there are terms which are having squares and see if the middle one is 2ab your problem maybe might be given as 25m square plus 9 plus 30m not necessarily 9 maybe on the right side but you can know from your eyes oh that is 9 means it's a square 25 is also square so they can be written as 25m square plus 30m plus 9 right or the problem might be given 9 plus 30m plus 25m square still is the same because using commutative law you can regroup the term to come up with a square plus 2ab plus b square right so that's all in this lesson children bye bye